Right Bob, this is what the uh, USB connection cable looks like. So you've got two MIDI outputs here on one end, which connects in here, which is stereo cables coming out. You've got a USB MIDI here, which is a little controller box, and the other end is a, let's find it, is a USB into a computer. It's one of these little flat rectangular slots here. That's your MIDI cable. MIDI USB cable, but also you can use one of these. I can pick it off the floor, which is a USB MIDI again, which goes into your laptop. But the other end, you've got a squarish cable. Now these cables are used for for printers, but you can plug them into the back of your TD30 brain. And it's all, it's also MIDI, so it makes it a lot easier just to plug it in, and you've got to worry about swapping the cables around and stuff like that. So this this end here, this square end, just looking out of focus. The square end, there you go. The square end goes in the back of the box. If I just turn the box around, you can see where it goes. It actually goes in behind the power cable. So this one here, just up here, that's your, your USB memory slot, so that's your USB, this is USB connector, so this end then, sorry I've got it handheld here so it's a bit wobbly, this actually plugs in, if I get around the right way, plugs in there, so there, if I could pull the camera around you can see it plugged in there, so I say that's your USB and that goes into the laptop which is here which goes into the side of the slot here next to the power cable so this is my laptop you've got a DVD drive there on the other side I've also got uh, outputs here for USB and uh, for HDMI and all the rest of the good stuff that goes with these computers and just at the end here you see a cable sticking out the end here that's my headphone socket that that's me plugged in via a stereo cable out of the headphone socket down into my mixer. There's my little mixer down here. It's very hard to see because it's a bit dark down there, but that's plugged in down down here into the output channel, which is the main socket. So that that then just boosts up my sound so that I can actually plug in my SP DX SX pad, my brain right through to the mixer so if I'm playing just the, um, the brain I can just plug it straight into the, the main outs you can see there's two cables down here those two there are the master out master outs from the brain these two are the master outs from the from the uh, the pad this one over here is just the camera out so you can see I've got it set up quite nicely right so you've connected up your your laptop to your MIDI unit uh, to your uh, your drum package then all you need to do there then if I go back onto kits you press the instrument button and then press the control button and then press the MIDI button and that's actually set now on the bass drum so you can see there that's come up with the MIDI numbers maybe you can't see it's a bit blurry but that's come up with the MIDI number 36 and then you just know that MIDI number is to the brain so you map that to the to the laptop and I'll show you how to do that uh, next video. So that's pretty much your connections. So I see MIDI cable out here and it's got caught up that's all the rest of the stuff down here somewhere. So MIDI cable out USB plug plug it at the side of the laptop here other way over I think no that way in so that goes into the USB port here and then you're ready to go so let's switch the laptop on that's just firing up so there you go Toshiba which is the one you're looking at and that will do its stuff so what I have to do is turn the brain off because you need to turn the brain off to, uh, to fire the program up first okay well I'll stop it there that's just getting my laptop sorted out so I'll then go on and show you how to log on to um, Addictive Drums and get yourself set up there mate, alright?